independent uh, Gaussian random variables independent uh, zero mean Gaussian random variables uh, with equal variance. sigma squared and we define z to be uh, z squared plus x squared plus y squared or oh, let me do it to be r okay. so the problem is uh, find the density function of r this is a classic problem this comes up in wireless for example if you take the x and y to be the in phase and quadrature phase of a complex random variable. Uh, so, in other words, if you consider x plus j y, what is this quantity? Anybody? x plus j y, then square root of x square plus y square represents what? Magnitude. magnitude. So, this is the magnitude. So, what we are saying is if x and y are the real and imaginary parts of a complex Gaussian random variable have zero mean and equal variance, what is the density function of the magnitude? Amplitude. So I'm going to solve this problem. So you can read this as z if you want. So as we start with f r r is probability of r less than or equal to r. But r is given to be square root of x squared plus y squared. So we'll substitute all this later. But let's just do this problem less than or equal to lowercase r. So that's the same as probability of x squared plus y squared is less than or equal to r squared, right? And what is this region, anybody? S squared plus y squared equal to r squared, hello? That much is easy, right? That was the easiest thing so far. So that's a circle of radius what? r, so this is x, this is y, and uh, so where should we integrate? Look at there, x squared plus y squared less than or equal to r squared is which inside the circle, right? Yeah. So we should be integrating over this. So we could integrate on x. So x goes from where to where? What is this point? So this, uh, this point is x comma y, right? The, I just pick up a point x comma y. So x will be what? In terms, this is this is y, this is x. R squared minus? And this point is? All right. So x goes from there to here, and y goes from? So let's see. Yeah, so f r r is double integral. f x y, x comma y dx dy. We already said x goes from minus r squared minus y squared. This is r squared minus y squared minus r to r. This is capital F, right? How come you are not saying anything? Nothing matters to you? Right? That's the, I just copied that formula, right? Now what? Now, the, what is the difficult uh, next step is to take the derivative of this with respect to r, which is our lowercase z. So let's see that here, f r r. Again, this is a classic problem solved in the, uh, all sorts of textbooks. Uh, so the derivative, uh, let's look here. The, the variable is here, 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 here. So we have to do four times possibly, but some of them will be easy. Let's see, derivative of, uh, of this function with respect to r, right? So we want d by dr of, <coughs> derivative of the top limit, that's easy, right? With respect to what? Then you substitute this limit where? What is this variable here? Y. y. So if you substitute, what happens? Zero to zero, no contribution. Derivative of the bottom limit, 1. Substitute this into the y again. Of course, you can substitute here also. 
but this becomes zero to zero, no contribution. So only term is, then the limits stay the same, right? And we need to take the derivative of the inside the stuff with respect to R. So a little complicated problem. That's why we are doing this uh, next. So remember here the integral is x. This is a good idea to write like this so you know what is the variable. All right, so derivative of the top limit, what is it with respect to r? Yo, one upon? Two, two cancels, right? So, and then what? You substitute? Then what? Minus derivative of the bottom limit with respect to R. There is a minus here. That minus minus will become plus. We don't want to see minus in density function, so that's good. Then, same thing, the derivative of that is the same thing. Same. 1 over square root of r squared minus y squared. You are right. This is r. Then, joint density function evaluated it. Minus. All right. So, see, this is plus here. This is minus here. Minus square root of r squared minus y squared comma y, right? And then what? dy, because the third term is, look, third term is the derivative of this quantity with respect to r, that's not going to be anything. And so this is the answer, I'm just going to write it there once. So this is f r r is minus r to r one over not one over r over square root of r squared minus y squared f x y So R is uh, definitely positive, right? Why is that? Because the radius, right? And the zero otherwise. So this is the if you are just this is the general form as far as we can go. Now we can take the we are given a problem. So we are given the joint density function. Look at here. I'm going to substitute that. X and Y are given to be what? Read the problem there. Independent, right? So this is true. Look at that. X and Y are independent. Each of them are zero mean joint go, uh, zero mean Gaussian. So the density function will be what? one over square root of sigma squared because sigma is the same. So you have one over square root will appear twice. So it's one square root gone. E raised to minus x square x minus zero. So x squared over two sigma squared plus y squared over two sigma squared. So this. So I plug it in here into this. So then this reads now. So constant goes outside. Minus R to R. So this is E raised to minus. Look here. Look here. Instead of X squared. r squared minus y squared plus y squared, right? Uh, so, what happened to an r? 
Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. We, have, we missed a this term. Let me write. Uh, so, this is r over square root of r squared minus y squared. Then you are right, e raised to minus r squared minus y squared plus y squared, right? Over 2 sigma squared. This is exactly the same, right? Because when you square it, minus will go away. So I'm going to multiply by a 2 here because I have to add this one more time, right? See, 2, 2 cancels here. Uh, this minus y squared plus y squared cancels. Integration is with respect to what? Anybody? dy, right? So any term we, uh, other than the y I can pull outside. So I'm going to pull out this r outside. e raised to minus r squared over 2 sigma squared goes outside. So I have r e raised to minus r squared over 2 sigma squared by pi sigma squared. And I cannot pull this outside because this is a function of y. 1 over square root of r squared minus y squared dy from minus r to r. So this is the final thing we need to do. So <coughs> so look here, my couple of ways we can proceed. This is an even function, right, in y. So over a symmetric region is the same as integral from 0 to r two times, right? So I can, you can write one more line. This will be integral from 0 to r. So we are back with a 2. Now the easiest way to so solve this will be substitute y equal to r sine theta. Then dy will be what? Look here. dy will be r or cos theta d theta and uh, square root of r squared minus y squared will be what? Y is this r cos theta, right? So you see dy divided by this, dy divided by this will be dy divided by this. What will you? This will cancel, you will get d theta, right? So I'll write. <laughs> so you get f r r equal to 2r e raised to minus r squared by 2 sigma squared over pi sigma squared integral uh, d theta, right? Because <coughs> numerator will be r cos theta d theta, denominator will be, so this will be r cos theta d theta, this will be r cos theta. So this cancels. Now let's look at the limit. When uh, y is 0, sin, the, sin theta is, uh, theta is 0. When y is r, r, r cancels, so you get sine theta equal to 1. So theta is pi by 2, as you said, right? <coughs> but this is the simplest integral you can do, right? So this answer is pi by 2, because everything cancels out. Look here, there is a pi in the denominator, so the pi will cancel with this. This 2 will cancel, so we will get the answer to be r e raised to minus r squared by 2 sigma squared sigma squared if r is positive. This density function after all this work is a famous one. Anybody knows the name of this? Right, very good. So this is Rayleigh. If you plot it, it looks like this. Look here, when r equal to 0, it's 0. Then it goes up and it comes down like this. Now you can use the last week's uh, techniques to find out the mean and variance of this. So this is now f r r. So this is a theorem. This is an important result. Let me write it down here. If x and y are independent, then the amplitude is Rayleigh. But a lot of things have to be, uh, everything has to match. If x and y are, have to be independent, they have to be zero mean, they have to be equal variance, three conditions, independent, zero mean, equal variance, then the amplitude is really. So just saying that if x and y are Gaussian, I'm sorry, four conditions, <laughs> x and y are first of all independent, 
zero mean Gaussian and equal variance. If these four conditions come through, then the amplitude is Rayleigh. So saying that X and Y are Gaussian and then the amplitude will be Rayleigh will be false because actually but there is another uh, a video I have put there where I consider the most general problem. X and Y are dependent Gaussian, non-zero mean and uh, not equal variance. Then the amplitude is uh, uh, not really. So maybe I can do one case quickly. Let me see. So let's say, so this is, let me write down the result. X and Y are need to be independent, zero mean, equal variance, and Gaussian. Either way. Uh, so Gaussian independent zero mean and equal variance. So if you include Gaussian, it's four conditions. Uh, then uh, the amplitude x squared plus y squared is Rayleigh. Uh, so. Uh, Otherwise, you can uh, take the uh, joint density function to be uh, you violate any one of these conditions, say they are not independent, and then you plug it in, you will get a mess. That's not going to simplify as Rayleigh. Right? In fact, if it is uh, all the conditions are true, if it is not zero mean, uh, that will be uh, Riesian, Riesian density function which is, which will have a Bessel function term attached to it. It's all in the book, so I'm not going to go over. But there is a half an hour discussion in the, in one of my examples on the most general case. So my point is, uh, so uh, when you say Rayleigh, you have to make sure, you have to understand that all these uh, assumptions are true, right? So this is A over sigma squared e raised to minus A squared over two sigma squared. Remember, it's not two sigma squared here. Uh, and the density function looks like this for various values of Rayleigh sc uh, scattering, right? It goes like this. So A is amplitude is plotted here. This is the density. So I think we probably, have, you can find the mean and variance. It's easy, reasonably easy. And so this is, uh, uh, this is the, um, a magnitude case. 